Right, now for a structured text POU. So we're going to need another uh, file, uh, another application. So in here, right click, add object. So we want a program organizational unit. So it's uh, the next one, so we're after structured text. So we call it up here something that makes sense to us. So structured text test for us. We want a program. So here you can build function blocks and functions. So, and these again can be used inside programs, so you can uh, build up your structure as per IEC 61131, so fully compliant. Down here says FPD, we don't want a function block, we want structured text. There we go, so we have a structured text. Ooh, got that wrong, no gaps. There we go, so we have a structured text program. So again, structured text starts with nothing. So. If we go back here to the PLC, I'm going to uh, steal shamelessly the uh, the variables. So we'll copy those. Now again, these are just variables. So we're just going to paste them in here. Okay, so these are now available locally in our structured text. So again, down here we see PLC program. So as things are at the moment, we're not going to run our structured text, so the thing to remember is if your code's not running, make sure in here you have added it. So we need a program call. So we need to call the structured text application. Okay, so it's now there in the main task, so it's going to be running all of this code here. So again, in here, uh, fairly simple, yeah, hunt up the help, but uh, uses the standard so if switch one so if switch one it's a boolean so it's going to be a true or false so we can just say if switch one then ah mental blank switch one equals true then Okay, automatically fills in a bunch of stuff for us, then lamp1 takes on the value true. Okay, and then we'll have an else lamp1 takes on the value false. Now it's given us an extra end if in here, which we don't need. So that should be good now. So, oh, forgot the semicolons. As with structured text, structured text always needs semicolons. So that should tidy it up there. So, and if, so, yeah, it, uh, it would have complained about that. So again, build, build, here we go. No problems, so we will. Okay, debug. Here we go. Online login. So this will uh, log log in and download it. So this is uh, into the same simulation we were using earlier. So okay, no warnings, no errors. Uh, we're fine. So again, see the visualization says waiting for a connection. So we need to start this up. So debug start. So runs. So again, we're looking in ST test. So in here, if we uh, prepare the value here, true, and then under debug, uh, Control F7 will write the values. Yeah, we get the lamp to uh, to true as well. So this is showing just the variables changing. Note over here in the visualization, uh, no changes here because these are attached to the PLC program uh, variables. So if we go offline now we log out okay if we go over here to the visualization and pop into the toolbox we should be able to grab ourselves a, uh, an extra lamp and grab ourselves an extra switch we'll plonk those in so properties again variable so we have st test so we want the switch and down here we want get the nice pick box, we want the lamp in ST test. So 
again that should uh, pop out the way okay auto hide so in here you'll find a few uh, select all of them you get uh, alignment tools so we can align these uh, vertical center make it look a little bit nicer and you also get a few other options in the alignment space so yeah make your vertical spacing equal so we can make it uh, look nice and symmetric so done that I'll save it for good measure now we'll log in again now we've adjusted it so we're going to log in with an online change so it'll download it okay so now you'll see that the lamp is true and we've got the switch here indicating the, uh, the the switch so if we change that we've got the structured text code working if we change this one it's still working but it's in the ladder so if we go over to the ladder code here we go you'll see the ladder code working here so again you can see both sets of code running at the same time and the visualization gives us yes let's auto hide so here we are structured text doing its stuff so there we go very very simple bit of structured text so next I'll be uh, looking at function block diagram